What is going on my reef fam? We got a ton of Zoas in, so I figure let's do a video. Let's check out some of these cool varieties. If I had to pick a favorite coral, I think it would be Zoas. If I was pressured to pick one, uh, I've been collecting them for quite a long time. You can see here, these guys are all 20 bucks, so not crazy. And for that, you get quite a few heads. So generally, a plug kind of kind of covered in them and some more combo varieties. Are you guys keeping Zoas in your tank? Question of the day. Hit me up in the comments below. I guess this is the second question of the day. Why don't you answer both? Whatever. But are you keeping Zoas in your tank? If so, what do you got? If not, why not? But um, yeah, I think that's a wrap for today's video. Just quickly showing you some of the cool varieties of coral that we have in stock because you know I absolutely love talking about it. That's what we do here at Fragbox, corals. That is our specialty. Yes, we do hardware and all the goodies and toys that you need to set up, maintain and enjoy and appreciate your own home reef aquarium um, like Ecotech, AI, Neptune, the big names, Kessel, all this stuff. Lots and lots of products, lots and lots of fun stuff. But if you guys got any questions or comments, I'm going to leave our email at the end of this video. Like I always do, feel free to reach out, send us an email. We love hearing from you guys. If you need help, if you got questions about reef tanks, maybe something's not going exactly as planned, absolutely feel free to hit us up. But I think that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is a wrap and thank you for watching Fragbox TV. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, how do I decide to do videos? Um, I grab the camera and then I walk around the store and I decide, hmm, you know what? What should we talk about today? Should we talk about uh, Chato lights or T5 lighting or Jonathan's favorite color? Or there's no, I don't know, if you guys have seen some of the other videos, maybe you've noticed by now, they're very much unscripted or raw and I kind of like it. So if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the videos and let's talk about some Zoas. Okay, so Zoas, there's a lot of different names. Okay, first of all, they call these a lot of different things. So they're called technically Zoanthids, but people also call them zoos. Uh, I find myself calling them Zoas a lot. Uh, I've heard them called polyps. Some people call them pallies, depending on which one it is. I think Zoa and Pally gets thrown around a lot. Kind of smaller ones, usually considered Zoas. Larger ones, kind of like this, would be considered pallies. And then on top of that, there's lots and lots of different names, uh, trade names, based on the color or the pattern of the Zoa. Some of them are undisputed. They've been around for such a long time, like this one right here, which is utter chaos. There's nothing else that looks like utter chaos. You can point it out in a crowd of Zoas, you know, in a second. There's one, there's another one, there's another one, and there's another one over there because there's really nothing like it. So the name is completely irrefutable, undisputed. That is an utter chaos Zoa. When you get into some of the other variations, this one, for example, I've seen it go by a lot of different names. I think money shots, we call them Pandoras, Mohawks, gold diggers. It kind of depends. It varies. Well, we're here in Canada, province to province, city to city, state to state, vendor to vendor. So it can get a little bit confusing. At the end of the day, does it really matter? I'm not sure. If you're collecting them, I guess it does because if you already have Pandoras and someone else is selling gold diggers, you don't want to end up, you know, maybe with that same Zoa. So the names help us sort of classify for people that are interested in collecting them. We're always finding new varieties like these ones over here. I've never seen this variety before. If you have, comment below if you already have a name for these. We went ahead and called them orangutans thanks to someone who commented in one of the other videos. These are really sweet right next to them. These are classic. Those are watermelon and as you can see right on the side there's some nuclear green dragon eyes and that's one of the coolest things about Zoas is they'll completely just grow together. They won't hurt one another. They won't hurt other corals. This is a proto pally. We call them hypnosis. Some cherry hornets. These are fruit loops which are really really rare at least uh, for us they are some dragon loops some ked red some super saiyans but these often go by different names i've seen them called uh, a few different things we call them super saiyans though and some green magicians what else do we have in here some scrambled eggs some vdm some ninja turtles supernovas we're red people leaders more green magicians green bay packers there's just interstellars also goes by nirvana sunny d Princess 99, 
Rasta, oh, that's a classic right there. Another one like the Utter Chaos. I would say there's n absolutely nothing like the Rasta. That's truly one of a kind. That's a really small example. I think I got a larger one here I can show you. Yeah, there they are, Rasta's one of my personal favorites. It's hard to pick a favorite though because there's just so many and they come in literally every single variety and color. And as the colors get crazier, um, so do the prices. Some of them can get quite expensive. So, you know, 100, 200, $300 for a single little polyp. This one, for example, is 20 bucks. Orange Bam Bam, 20 bucks. These are in Canadian dollars. So I don't know how relevant that is to you or where you're watching from, but lots and lots of Zoas on display right now. Let me actually show you one of the frag tanks because I think there's even more inside one in there. 